What's up guys, it's Devin. Happy Monday, but most importantly, happy day two of the Biannual Bibliothon. If you don't know what the Biannual Bibliothon is, all the links will be in the description, and it's basically just a week-long readathon run by some of my absolute favorite YouTubers. It's got different TBR challenges, different video challenges each day. It runs twice a year, and this week's Biannual Bibliothon started yesterday and goes to Saturday, so it's still not too late to join. So today being Monday is Selena's day to host from OXXX Snap 13, and her challenge for today was character channel takeover, and basically you just let any fictional character take over your channel for the day. And so pretty much Hermione Granger paid me a visit and she made a video for you guys on how to read more. It was super fun having her here. I hope that she stops by more in the future. And I think it turned out really, really well. So let's get into it. But before I start, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. There are new and exciting videos out every week. And especially this week, there's going to be a new video every day for the Biennial Bibliothon. And without further ado, I give you the character channel takeover. Oh, hello. I'm Hermione Granger. I was delighted when Devin asked me to help out with her video. She asked me to prepare some tips on how to read more, which I think is a very important topic to discuss. Reading should be a part of everybody's life. So I have some tips on how to read more and how to use your time wisely enough that you can read all the time, every day. So tip number one is no mischief. Honestly, this should be obvious. If you get in trouble, you get detention. And detention means no reading, especially at Hogwarts. Detention could be anything from signing autographs for Gilderoy Lockhart to carving I will not tell lies into the back of your hand from that unsufferable Dolores Umbridge. Detention could equal disastrous outcomes like expulsion, you could get expelled. Number two is don't worry about your physical appearance. Why would you spend an hour and a half getting ready every morning when you could easily just spend 20 minutes and spend the rest of that hour and 10 minutes reading? You don't have to wear makeup. You don't have to straighten your hair or curl it or do anything special with it other than brush it. All you really need to do in the morning is wake up, get dressed, brush your teeth and brush your hair. You don't have to do anything outside of that, except maybe shower. Showering's important. All I'm wearing today is some mascara because I'm doing a video so I thought I should look presentable. If you're just going to school, don't worry about what you look like. Friends aren't important anyway. So be more focused as what's in your head than on your face. Tip number three is to find what you like to read by trying different genres. I'm lucky, I like to read everything. I will read non-fiction, fiction, historical fiction, literary masterpieces, basically everything. I even read textbooks. Reading is reading after all, it doesn't have to be the contemporary novels. It could just be a textbook because you are still reading. I was actually just about to start rereading Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander. Number four is to understand the importance of reading. Because I have been reading books all through my life and I've been reading textbooks about Hogwarts since first year and I've been reading them diligently on my own time, I have been able to save not only my life but Harry and Ron's lives several times. If you understand that reading can save lives, you will read more. My next tip is to seclude yourself as often as possible. You can't actively get a lot of reading done when you're constantly surrounded by people. So take some time, as much time as you possibly can, and seclude yourself in your room or in the library or just anywhere by yourself. Your popularity should not be the most important thing in your life how popular you are at school or with the pupils that you go with. Final tip is to work hard in school because working hard while you're actually in the school building means you have less homework and therefore more time to read. 
attention to the teacher, take diligent notes, and do all of your homework in class or even over your lunch period. Schooling is very important and should be taken very seriously. Well, I suppose that's all that I am talking about today. I hope that you follow these tips very diligently. They will help you throughout your entire life if you want to read more, if reading is a serious thing for you. This was actually quite fun. I enjoy talking about reading and about different books. So I guess I could do this more often. Maybe I'll come back in the future. And I suppose that's it. Nox. I hope you guys liked that video. That was so much fun to make. I'm sorry my British accent was horrendous. Oh my god, I thought I could do a good British accent and then I tried this video. So thanks for watching, make sure you check out yesterday's video, which was my message in a bottle challenge right over here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and Snapchat. I will see you guys with tomorrow's video and that is all for me and my shelfie.